Hi guys, Micro here. This is my Endgame Hot Cry Man series episode 4. Today, the big game hunter grind begins and it's going to be a very, very long grind. I also do some other stuff alongside it, but this video will mostly be focused on big game hunter with some stuff in between. So let's get right into it. Starting out, I made the most of the sentinel outfit as I could so I could chop the trees and the vines quicker in big game hunter. This is the best outfit to wear for big game hunter. But sadly, I didn't have enough fragments to make the full outfit, so I'll be making the full outfit later on, and I'm just going to do Big Game Hunter without it to start. There is a couple of reasons why I'm doing Big Game Hunter. One, it's probably the way I'm getting 120 Hunter, and I do want 120 all eventually. Two, it's really, really good for Ranch Out of Time. My player-owned farms is getting into a state where it's pretty good, and I'm breeding stuff, and it's going very well. It's giving me passive XP and beans and all of that. But my ranch out of time, the only thing I'm doing in there is frogs. And that's just to get the slime for Herblot. I'm also going to need bottled dinosaur roars for Voln bombs. I'm going to need beak snot. I'm going to need spark chitin. All of these different items. These items only come from ranch out of time dinosaurs. Best way to get them is to do big game hunter to try and get those unchecked dinosaurs. And with the hunter marks, you can buy unchecked dinosaurs for 80 marks each. So it's going to be a very, very, very long grind of killing dinosaurs to try and get ranch out of time breeding pairs. On top of that, every single time the raw comes around, I can do tier 3 dinosaurs. What this raw does is it gives 25% increased experience for Hunter, so the tier 3 dinosaurs give you a ton of experience an hour, and it gives you a higher chance of getting the Pterosaur Maul. The Pterosaur Maul is a tier 97 melee weapon for things like Araxor and Ambassador. It's an insane weapon that I would want eventually just to get the best in slot melee set up on this account. So every single time the Royal comes around, I'm going to try those tier 3 big game hunts and try and get lucky. The Pterosaur Ball piece is a 1 in 1000, but it is increased on Raw, and it's also increased whenever you have a double or a triple spawn. So even though it's a 1 in 1k, hopefully I could get maybe the full Maul by like 2,000, 3,000 dinosaur hunts, and that includes the lower tier ones, because I'm only going to be doing the tier 3s on Raw. So it was time to get that big game hunter grind going. A reinforced dinosaur pelt. That's actually really, really awesome. That will take my hunter lodge to tier three. Then I'll only have two frogs per arena instead of three. And that makes it so much easier. I'm a happy boy. The amount of supplies you get from Big Game Hunter is insane as well. You get loads of uncooked food. You get dragon hides. You get so many gremwall spikes. Like 60 for a hunt. That's insane. I'm really, really happy with how much I get from Big Game Hunter. It's just good all round, honestly. Ah, oh, dude, I got debated. I got a Crimson Chin Chomper. I need the red one so I can get red chins to make mech chins. I don't really want to go hunt loads of red chins, so getting them from player own farms would be awesome. So a red chin is what I want. I absolutely love Ranch Out of Time frog names, dude. You got Pepe the Frog, you've got Freddo the Frog. Gotta appreciate Jagex on that one. It was time to do a bit of herb lore. I've been doing my mango bush runs whenever I'm doing my farm runs, and I'm getting primal extract from that. With this primal extract and the slime I'm getting from my frogs from Ranch Out of Time, I'm able to make Power Burst of Vitality. This will give me so much experience towards Elder Overloads. I'm 103 Herblore, so now I can use the God Banner to boost the Power Burst of Vitality for half an hour a day, which is going to give me a ton of XP. Then when I'm 104, I can boost to Elder Overloads, and at 105, I can boost to Elder Overload Salves. So within the next couple of days or so, I'll have Elder Overload Salves made, and I'm so excited for it. One really cool thing I just want to note to do with Power Burst is you can get infinite Power Burst vials. If you decant your 4 dose Power Burst into 1 doses, then re-decant the 1 doses into 4 doses, it will take a little bit of GP away and give you a ton of Power Burst vials. You can only buy 100 Bomb Vials and 100 Power Burst vials from each of the herb shops every day. Doing this allows you to not worry about buying the Power Burst vials from the herb shops because you can just get them infinitely from decanting obviously you can't do this with bomb vials though so definitely buy those every single day using my reinforced dino pelt i was able to upgrade to the tier 3 hunter lodge now i only ever have two of the frog spawn which is absolutely amazing super chuffed having this unlock makes the big game hunter grind so much easier 112 hunter coming in we're nearly halfway to 120 now a cheeky dragon mattock right there. Nice. It was on a double encounter and I got it on the first one of the double. 
Not bad. Oh my god, my first ever unchecked ranch out of time animal in, I don't know how many, let's see. 200 big game hunts. It's a 1 in 65, so it took me a while to get this. Oh, I love my machines, dude. There is loads more money to claim to spend on random things like the merchant, etc. Speaking of the merchant, today's stock was double daily and a death touch top. Pretty damn good for my hard cryer man. Dailies aren't too important, but it's nice to have a couple. And then the Death Touch Star is just really nice as a backup thing in case I run out of charges at Araxor where I can't teleport out or something. I can Death Touch start it instead of having to like lobby or panic. And if I can get enough Death Touch Star saved up, I'll probably use the excess on like Ambassador or something. Oh, I got my last totem piece. That is the third and final totem from Big Game Hunter. No way! I just got 107 range from my Titan killing Greg while using melee. You don't see that all the time. That's kind of funny. There is my Greg Reaper done. 22 Reaper points, 17k Slayer XP. Closing in on the essence of finality. 153 Reaper points. Let's grab a new Reaper. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully sign decent. Araxi. All right, let's go kill Araxo and see if we can get any spider legs towards a Nox weapon to disassemble. We can make a second star for sign and disassemble it. First loot from Araxo was absolute garbage. That is a pet chance. <laughs> oh, Jagex is trolling me, dude. Roll a zero and I get a one. Thanks, Araxo. Battle staves and super restores. I guess we might as well pet chance this one as well. 339, fair enough. Next up, uh, Rock Tails and Black Dragon Hide. Doesn't look like uh, this loot's getting any better. Pet chance. 106. Okay, on to the next. Come on, please just give me something better. Hey, hey, you know, I mean, that's time better. We got bruise with it as well. Yeah, love to see it. Spider leg bottom coming in. First piece towards the next Nox weapon. Can we get back to back? Ah, uh, it's not back to back, but that is a good reward. The salvage is 400k in Alks, and then we got Bruise. 400k cash and uh, Bruise again, pretty much the same as the last drop. And our Reaper task is done. There is 113 HP at good old Nexi Wexi. Sadly, we've had no drops here in a while, though. Something I should have done quite a while ago was get the Death Ward Relic. So I had to come up here where Armadou is in the most awesome scenery ever looking down on port sarum and everything and you have to give armadou an aviancy dream coat and he'll give you a ring this ring is then used in order to get the death ward relic which makes me take less damage as a hard cryer man this relic is absolutely amazing because it reduces the damage you take at under 50 percent hp by five percent and if you're under 25 percent hp you take 10 percent less damage that is a huge amount of damage mitigation for my Iron Man whenever I'm looking to try and, you know, not die in PVM. This is what I want. Alongside this relic, I also needed Fury the Small. I had to repair two of the Bandosian items, the Anchor and the Battle Standard. Then I had to go to the Warforge and enter certain tunnels with these items in my inventory to turn them into cave paintings. Then you combine the two cave paintings and you submit the relic. And then I have Fury of the Small unlocked now. Fury of the Small gives me more adrenaline on basic abilities. So again, a really, really awesome one coupled with Impatient. It gives you so much extra adren. Sacred Clay from the Merchant is pretty damn good because this gives you stealing creation points, which you can spend on the Artisan outfit and the Fletcher's outfit. Two good outfits to grab. It was at reset so I could lobby and quickly grab another merchant and it had an unfocused reward enhancer in it. Unfocused reward enhancer really isn't worth it for like main accounts and normal iron men but for hard cryer men it's 100% worth. The reason why this is worth 10 mil is it gives me an extra death at Araxor. You turn this into a Morvran's challenge enhancer so when you die on any bosses involved in Morvran's challenge which includes Araxor you get brought back to life with full HP. The only downside is it procs before your sign of life, which kind of sucks, but having two charges on Morvan's challenge enhancers plus my sign means I can die essentially three times in a rack skill, which makes it very, very hard to die to rack.
After that nice break from Big Game Hunter, it was time to go back. In my break, I got more resources at Anachronia, which allowed me to purchase the tier 3 bait box. Now this acts as a deposit box, which really, really helps doing Big Game Hunter. And I have like all of the quality of life, including the tier 3 Hunter Lodge and, you know, faster traps, everything like that now. So now Big Game Hunter is smooth as hell on the Iron Man. A, a Corbicular Rex. Damn. That's actually pretty awesome. That is my second player owned farm animal. I managed to get a Pavasaurus triple spawn on Raw. So when you skin the third one of this, if you successfully kill all three, this is the highest chance at a piece of the Pterosaur Mall. The second kill obviously has an increased chance as well, but sadly we didn't get anything. So now it was time to finish off the triple to see if we got anything at the end. And nothing, sadly. Hey, we had an extra chance of trying to get them all. It's always worth doing those triples. Dude, I just got a Vecna skull from the rare drop table. That's my third Vecna skull on my hard cry, man. Fair enough. Oh, second Corbicular Rex. That is awesome. And I have done 378 big game hunter encounters. And I've had three player own farm animals. Uh, my drop rate on the player and farm animals kind of sucks, but at least we got two of the same. But I need 112 farming to check it, and I'm only 107. So I do need to get my farming gains in order to check those. 103 Slayer from Big Game Hunter as well. Damn. I always forget they even give Slayer XP. Cheeky Dragomatic on the first hunt of a double spawn. Not bad. This is also a double on raw. So increased chance of the Pterosaur Mall. Feels good, man. And nothing. All right, well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. 114 Hunter. There we go. Another decent milestone right there. There's no way, dude. I just got a superior long bone from a single hunt. It is on raw, so it has slightly increased chance, but it wasn't even a double or a triple. So all of these doubles and triples we've been doing getting nothing. I got it from a single hunt. And I have done 506 big game hunts. So that is very, very lucky to have one piece of the Terrasol Mall already. I guess it's time to focus on the volcanic fragments and the tribal fin then. As you can see here, I have one out of the three of the big pieces. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. This just makes me so hyped to keep doing big game hunter at this point. What a good way to end this episode. Give the video a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new for loads of future content, all related to RuneScape 3, and until next time, see ya.